Hey nerds, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you another sick parlor trick or old computer tip. In this case, I'm going to be showing you how to hook up any old computer. In this case, we've got ourselves an IBM RS6000 that doesn't even run Windows. And I'm going to show you how to hook this thing up to the internet. I mean, look, this isn't even Windows. Does this look like Windows to you? No, it looks like a hacker operating system that'll get your mom asking how to fix her Wi-Fi. So this right here is an IBM that doesn't even run Windows. It runs AIX. And I'm going to be showing you how to set this thing up to the internet and get online and any old computer actually, not just these, Windows 95, old Macs, uh, whatever you name. I'll show you how to set them up on the internet. So here is our what we're going to be using to get internet. Now you can find these at thrift stores, but this is called a wireless bridge. Or in this case, it's called a Linksys by Cisco wireless and gaming and video adapter. So that's a fancy name for a bridge. Now basically what this is, is it's a device that takes Wi-Fi and it turns it into an Ethernet port. Now these are great because a lot of times when you go online and you see people talking about how to get these old computers on the internet, you see boomers saying, back in my day we just shot wires through the room. And then off, and oftentimes you get power line adapters and those don't work great, but these work great all the time. Now if you can't find one of these at your thrift store, it's guaranteed that every thrift store is going to have a ton of wireless routers, some old ones. Flash them with something like Tomato or uh, DDWRT if they don't have those. Some routers actually support this out of the box, but it's called bridge mode. And what it does is it basically turns this into a nice little like adapter. There's also some quote unquote range extenders that have this feature as well they'll have a bridge mode and you're going to want a range extender or a bridge with a bridge mode or a router with a bridge mode but it's got to have a bridge mode that's the trick it's going to take the signal in and spit out an ethernet port which any old computer can access which is what we want here so how do we get this thing to work well the first thing we'll need is to plug it in so we plug it in here and as you can see it's turning on. So the thing with these devices is they take a minute or two to come up. See it's it's changing colors. But what we're gonna do is we're going to reset this thing to factory settings. So we're gonna flip it around and right here is a little hole called reset. Now all routers have these. And you're gonna want to do this anyway before you flash a custom firmware if you're going down that route. I'm not gonna show you how to do it with this there's plenty of videos and guides and even if your router supports it but you can find lots of routers at the thrift store that support this too so we're gonna reset this because this is a bridge that does the same thing you're gonna want to do that anyway regardless if you get a new one of these so you're gonna hold it down for like 30 seconds so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this held for like 30 seconds just in case that's the little trick with these old routers or routers in general. You gotta hold it down for 30 seconds or bridge or switch. Hold it down for like so many seconds. And we're gonna have it pressed down. And the reason for that is so we can have this thing fully reset and get all the old passwords and settings off. So We've done that. It's hit the green light or whatever. Maybe I'll push this button again. So now I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna hook up a laptop to this. And it's pretty self-explanatory. So what we're gonna do to get this thing connected to our bridge is first we're going to turn off Wi-Fi airplane mode on alright so this 
this bridge has been 100% reset right now. And right now it's in the factory default state. So what we're going to need is first we plug an Ethernet cable in, obviously. And we route it to a laptop that's preferably running Windows, and I'll tell you why. Now you plug it into the Ethernet port on the laptop. And we're going to open this up. Oops, sorry about that. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the um, bridge. So if you type in IP config, you're going to get some IP like 169.254, whatever. Now, it'll depend on what um, bridge you use, or rather, read the manual, because there's different ports. And, I mean, different... Uh, not ports, uh, IP addresses. So in the case of the uh, WET610N, we're going to go to one, uh, 169.254.1.250, okay? You see that right there? Read online the manual on uh, what it does and use Internet Explorer. I mean, you don't use it as your way in your web browser, but they keep giving you Internet Explorer for purposes like this because what won't work on Firefox will just work here, so we're going to type the password in admin, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to wireless, and we're going to hit manual. You can do WPS, but a lot of routers don't have that anymore because it's insecure. So we're going to go to manual, and we're going to go to... Uh, we're going to type in our, uh, our SSID. Tomato 50 is ours, and we're going to change it to WPA2AES, and I'm going to type the password in. So, one second. So, once you click the fast phrase in, pass phrase, and then you click processing, I mean, you click OK and it'll say processing, please wait. And you notice how it's got this here. And right now, if we go to like, it says you're not connected. Now, what it's doing is it's setting it up. And by the way, um, what you're also going to have to do is um, just make, like I said, real quick, just again, make sure your Wi Fi's off. and it'll be uh, setting itself up. So right now it's, uh, it's connecting. The lights on this have changed to indicate that it's attempting to connect to the network. So it's doing its thing. It, these routers take a while for some reason to do anything. I don't know why they deliberately make them slow but that's how life is with these uh, routers in general. So it's processing, please wait. And now, as you can see, it's automatically changed IP addresses. It's no longer 169, it's 192.168.126. Once you've done that, you're going to uh, just, let, let's just open up a new tab. Bam. We're now getting blasted advertisements and MSN news. Look at this garbage. Garbage content. But hey, we've got it working now. So now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to shut our laptop. We're going to turn Wi-Fi back on. And we're going to shut our laptop, and we're going to take the, the cable out. And we're going to place it in our computer. So we're going to, we're going to move back here. And we're going to plug it in the uh, Ethernet port. Bane in the Ethernet port and it's lit up here. 
So we're going to place this on top of here and we're going to go set this computer up. So we're just going to grab the uh, mouse and we're going to go through setup like at once. And we're going to go to configure network because why not? I'm going to get the other stuff set up, but as we're going to see, automatically configure using DHCP. And we've got one NIC. So we're going to go to next. DHCP CD has been started. And there we go. Let's see how it works when we reboot it. Alright, the moment of truth. Can we get wireless internet from this RS6000? Let's find out by pressing the enter key. So as we can see, it is currently getting connections from the internet to this router or while well, the router in the other room from this uh, switch or not switch a bridge but you can also use a Wi-Fi router or range extender with a bridge mode to do the same thing so as we can see here we are getting internet so as you can see this is currently connected it's pinning this and it's connected to this RS6000 and the RS6000 has no cables going into the other room so there we have it how to get internet on any old computer with Wi-Fi doesn't even need to have Wi-Fi support people this is what I call a nice parlor trick or at least a nice little way of getting internet out of a computer without even having to go all the way so there you have it, internet on AIX, and any old computer, 95, Mac OS 9, try this today, it'll work. So there you have it.